Happy Halloween. So this apparently is the holiday where we all get scared, right? Um, so one of the things I wanted to talk about is one of the things that we're scared of on a daily basis. So I was talking with a student today, and um, on Friday I had given them a challenge um, as one of the things that they wanted to do is become less shy, and they wanted to break through that. So I uh, and they wanted to make more friends. So I challenged them and I said, Hey, um, well, how many? Let's we'll start by appreciating and acknowledging the friends you already have. How many How many numbers do you have? How many could you call? And uh, I said, all right. And they gave me the number. And then I said, all right, I want you to call all of them this weekend and just have a conversation, share something that's going on, just give them a call. And then my other challenge is to, if you meet someone new or try to meet someone new, um, maybe within that friend group, maybe they're friends of friends, and get their number so that you have another person you can call as well. Um, and then I talked to them today and they said that they didn't, they didn't completely take the challenge despite, um, accepting the challenge on Friday. And, uh, so I worked with them for some time and, uh, I said, you know, what was the thing that stopped you from taking that action? And they said, you know, they took a long time to think about it. And I asked them, you like, you know, if you can come up with words, that allow you to think about what's going on in your head as the fear comes up, as that that um, being scared of whatever might happen, like the, the body sensations, the the pit in your stomach, um, the the chills, the sweaty palms, like whatever is going on in your body, right? If you can start to come with words, you can start to kind of beat it, right? So you can look at it logically rather than just like this whole entire feeling coming over your entire body. So I said, you know, what what comes to mind when, you know, you had that chance to get that person's number or when you had the chance to give someone a call and said, you said, mm, I don't want to do it, I'm too scared. Um, and so they looked and they said it was rejection. That was what they're afraid of. So I said, all right, are you willing, uh, I want you to think about what you're actually scared they might say. So we thought about it, I said, would it be something like this, you know, how dare you ask for my number? I don't want to be friends with you. Like, who do you think you are? You think I'm like actually like you as a friend or something? Heck no, I'm not giving you my number. Um, and then when they were able to look at that, they started, I, I don't know because I didn't really get a ton of feedback, but um, I think to myself when I start to hear what I'm actually afraid of, it it's not always as fearful. And then I'm able to approach it with my logical brain rather than my emotional brain. And when you think about, you know, are we our thoughts? Are we our feelings? Like, if I have this feeling of being scared or fearful, is that who I am? Am I fearful? Or am I going to be something else, right? Do people, like, the World Series is going on right now, or maybe it ended last night, I don't know. Um, but, you know, when those batters are getting up to the, and it's the ninth inning, and it's the end, it could be the end of the season for them, you know, I'll bet you their hearts are pounding through their chest. Um, hopefully they have they have steady hands. Um, but I imagine the pressure must be crazy. But they don't succumb to that. They don't step out of the batter's box and say, you know what, this is too much for me. I can't handle this. No, they're professionals. That's what professionals do. That's how they got to be where they are is because they got over the fear and they're able to perform in front of the fear, right? In the face of fear, they're still able, able to perform. Right, the very first time I got in front of a classroom of 28 students, my heart was pounding. Like you, you couldn't describe what it's like being in front of a bunch of teenagers you think are judging you for the first time. Um, now, I was 24 when that happened, right? So they're about a decade younger than me. But you know, I imagine for most teachers, the very first time they stepped in front of a group of students and had to face them and teach them or you know deliver their syllabus or something, that's like it's a big moment, right? But we're professionals about it. We stand up in the face of it. We signed up for it. And we say, it's time time to perform. So what I, what I had them do is continue thinking about, you know, what are the things that you're actually afraid of? And can you bring words to those? So for you listening at home and you're thinking about, gee, what is that fear that stops me from something I really want? Is start to bring words to it. You know, it, it took this person... I don't know, three, four, five minutes to actually come up with the words 
um, of rejection. And, and I gave them a high five after and, and they had sweaty palms. And I was like, so it, it seems like you're even nervous a little bit about this. What do you, what were you afraid I was going to say to you that you seemed a little bit nervous? And they, again, they, they took some time and they thought about it and they said, they're afraid of being wrong, right? They're afraid I was going to say that whatever they had to say about it was wrong. Like if I were to, if they were to say rejection, I say, no, no, you can't feel rejection. That's not possible. Why would you ever feel rejection? Like they, when they realized that, they realized how much less logical that was and how it was totally based out of fear and feelings and body sensations and, and sweaty palms, right? So bring words to whatever it is that you're fearful of. Write it down, right? It might not start, might, as you start to examine what your fear is and the feelings and the associations we have, we can start to take a little bit, a little bit of that out, right? It starts to become more doable, and we start to able to face it and become new people out of taking new actions. Um, so, if you if you liked what you heard today, please subscribe. Um, if there are other things, other maybe problems that you're having, uh, or things that you would like to improve upon, um, I'd love to address them. Uh, especially if you're a student and would love to hear me give a little talk about something that you're dealing with, um, feel free to comment or you know write me a message in class or, or get it sent to me or something. I'd love to hear about it. Happy Halloween and uh, stay weird. <laughs>